Hey, kindergarten, it's Miss D. Did you get a chance to watch the bird nest video? Well, if you haven't yet, take a pause here and go watch that video. It's a link in the project description uh, about camouflage bird nests. All right, and when you're done watching, come on back and watch this video. So what types of nests did you see in the video? I saw a mud nest that was um, mud and grasses that the bird uses to build. And uh, I think it was a, a bird that actually builds the nest with its partner and its babies from the previous year all build the nest together. So uh, I was actually just tearing up paper to make a nest. Um, this is uh, a project that we did with, we used this paper clay with Miss Reinhardt in her art class to make trees. So we're going to tear up the paper and uh, mix it with water and uh, break it up and until it becomes like sort of a clay and then uh, use it to create nests. So for this project, uh, you'll need some paper and copy paper that's recycled works great. This is an old page um, that I don't need. Uh, you can check with an adult to see if there's some uh, copy paper lying around that you could use. Um, and also, you can collect materials from around the house, maybe something that uh, you would have recycled or thrown away otherwise. Uh, I had some little scrap strings that I uh, found that I'm going to use in my nest. And if um, you, if it, well you can, I should say you can uh, go around the house with an adult to find some things to see what would be possible to use for your nest. Uh, also if it's possible to go outside in a safe space with an adult, um, you might be able to find some materials out there. I found some sticks that I'll use in my nest. All right, so um, I'll set those, mater those uh, materials aside so that I can make the paper clay uh, that we're going to use to stick all those other materials together. All right, so for your paper clay, you can take your scrap paper and tear strips. We're really going to tear that paper up into small pieces. I like to start out by tearing strips of paper that I tear into smaller pieces. Okay. See how small? They're getting smaller and smaller. Using just my little fingers to tear little bits. And then I'm going to make a pile. I'm going to keep tearing. All right, you want to really tear up some little pieces, little bitty pieces like confetti, okay? I'm going to angle the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Um, so I have my paper that I've already torn before this video so that we can save some time. And I also have some water here too. So you're going to need a little uh, container with some water. All right, so once you've torn up like about a whole sheet of paper or even two sheets of paper um, into these really little pieces. Okay, really spend some time seeing how teeny tiny you can make them. Then, once you have teeny tiny pieces, we're going to add them to our water, okay? And I'm gonna mix it up. All right, I'm going to keep tearing. So now that the, the paper is wet, it's going to start to break apart. It's going to soak up the water and get soggy and uh, going to be easier to break apart. So you're just going to keep tearing up all those pieces. Spend a little time really breaking it up. It should, uh, eventually it should start looking like oatmeal, okay? I've set some aside here because you can actually, you can let it soak for a little bit and that helps um, to let the, the fibers in the paper break up. I have some paper here that I've already um, let 
sit for a little while and broken up with my fingers. Um, so I'm going to pull that out now. All right, so I'm still going to break that up. It's really got to be, it's got to be really like oatmeal, not like confetti, okay? Turn it from the little confetti pieces into a real mush, okay? It's going to look pretty uh, wet and um, soggy. Think about, so this actually, when you break up the paper like this, it's called paper pulp. And paper pulp is what paper looks like before it gets pressed into a sheet, which is what we use to write and draw on. All right, so you're really going to break this up. And then once you have this, like, really like oatmeal, you really want to smush it up. And I probably would spend a little more time with this if I, and maybe after the video is done, I'll work on this a little bit more. So I'm gonna just slide this over so I can put a container here to work on. This is gonna be where I build my nest. All right, so I'm gonna take some of this paper that we've broken up, this paper clay, and I'm going to put a little glob here, a little glob here, here, and here, okay? This is, um. There's four little gloves. These are going to be the four sides of our nest. And I'm going to stick one of those sticks that I have on there and on there. And then I'm going to put some more globs on. You want to squeeze out a little bit of that water. Just a little squeeze so that it's not too soggy. All right, and then I'm gonna stick some other sticks on and put some paper clay on those. So I'm just layering the sticks and the paper clay. Okay, and then I'm going to stick another stick on there. I'm trying to make kind of a little, I'm going to stand up so I can see, a little um, nest with those pieces. So it should have a little spot for the bird to sit in. And, yeah. So this is going to get kind of squished around. I want to add some other things, like I'm going to add the string in here. I'm going to wrap it around like the bird does, because the bird kind of tucks those uh, pieces of grass in with its beak. And I'm going to push that paper clay around it, okay? Paper has some natural sort of, um, there are some glues and things that are added to the paper when it's getting turned from pulp into a sheet of paper. So when this paper dries, it will it'll stick together a little better than it does when it's wet. All right, I'm gonna put a little, another piece on, another piece over here. Stick these on with some. And you can find whatever materials you have around your house. It doesn't have to be strings and sticks. It could be anything you find. Maybe you had eaten some popsicles and you have some popsicle sticks left over. Or maybe you have, um, I don't know, uh, some cereal boxes that you could cut into strips and um, use. Go on a little scavenger hunt around with an adult in your house to figure out what you can use. Okay, so here I have my little nest. All right, and I'm going to put a little bit more. I'm going to make sure all those pieces are stuck down with some paper. All right. And 
I'm probably also, I'm going to kind of gently push all those fibers together to make that nest. Kind of just tap it, squish it together so that those all stick. Just like, um, to push everything together. All right. So that is my nest. You can see it's got a little extra water. I'm going to drain some of that off. You can see it's got a little inside part where the bird would sit and put their eggs. And then it's built with the string and the sticks or whatever materials you find. All right. So when you're done with your nest, you can post a picture on Edmodo because it's great to see what other children have made and your teachers would like to see what you've been working on. All right. All right. Happy nest building.